dichotomous categorical variable. I'm going to show you about four different ways to determine if a categorical variable is a moderator. So first thing for a moderator is we're looking at the relationship between two continuous variables. In other words, the length of a relationship, how is that related to the marriage satisfaction of a married relationship? So in other words, the longer they're married, the, the stronger the satisfaction or vice versa, you never know. So let's go over the options real quick. Number one is we're going to look at the relationship between these two, just a regular Pearson correlation, right? And it's either strong or weak. It's either positive or negative. Those are the only two options there. But could there be something else going on, a different factor that could either strengthen the relationship or weaken this relationship that's not length of relationship or marriage satisfaction. So in other words, is there something else controlling the relationship here? That's what we call a moderator, right? That's a moderator. A moderator will affect the relationship between two other continuous variables. It can be a variable, right? It could be a continuous variable, which a good example is how much money they make, right? Social economic status. Does money have anything to do with how long people stay married and how satisfied they are. Money always counts. I know it does. And or it could be a categorical variable with plenty of categories, right? We could do we could check to see if the professions have anything to do with the relationship between the length of a marriage and how satisfied they are. Right? They could be first responders, they could be military, they could be educators. So there's going to be a difference in there somewhere, but maybe not big enough to be considered significant or not, but this could definitely be a, a moderator. And the last one, this, this is what this video is about, is we're going to do a dichotomous. In other words, there's only two categorical, two categories, two groups, right? Yes or no, live or die. And the one for this example, I'm going to pick attachment style. So everybody in this thing is either securely attached or insecure attached. So this is the overall model. And we're going to see if attachment style with its two levels is a moderator between the length of a relationship and marriage satisfaction. So I already got the data on SPSS. Please hold. So here's our lovely, lovely data, right? We got a variable named ID, and that's just an ID number. Marital satisfaction. The higher the number, the more satisfied the married. Length of relationship, same thing. The longer the relationship, the longer the relationship. And secure attachment. And zero means they're insecure, and one means they're secure. So let's take a look at the data real quick. Let's go down here. Hold on. So secure attachment, I see lots of zeros, very few ones on top, but lots of ones on the bottom. So it looks like they're going to be pretty much equally divided out. In other words, there'll be almost as many number of each secured and insecured to run this thing. So the first thing I would suggest that you do is I would make a scatter plot and then split it between the secure attachments. You're going to get two separate lines of regression, and if those two lines are parallel, that means that both groups are being affected the same way, and therefore it's not a moderator. So in other words, if one level is a significant relationship between the two variables and the other one is not, that makes that categorical variable a moderator. You know, you know, keep your fingers crossed, but normally it will tell you right off the bat with a scatter plot. We go here, go define, and the DV is satisfaction, and length of relation is the x-axis. And we're going to split the markers by secure attachment. In other words, you're going to get two lines, one for the secure and one for the insecure. Click OK, and wait, 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 and there it is right there. Double click, call up the chart wizard. Mr. Wizard, you're going to go to this double one up here with, with all the different tails in there. Click. And close. And I'm looking at it right there. And by golly, they're completely different. So the green line is the secure people, right? That's the top one. 
So what this tells me is the longer the relationship, the better the satisfaction for the, for the secure people only. For the blue guys, the insecure, uh, the length of relationship actually makes this, the satisfaction go down a little bit. But the main thing is that these two are not parallel. So that tells me that it, the relationship between length of relation and, and marital satisfaction will be significant for one level, but not the other one. That, by definition, makes that variable secure attachment a moderator. So let's go ahead and prove it with numbers. All right, check for moderators. Main thing you got to do is you got to take that X variable, your predictor variable, that's going to be length of relationship. You got to center it. So we got to find the mean of this length of relationship and subtract every one of these from the mean or the mean from every one of these. So give me a second. Analyze descriptives of frequencies. And uh, length of relationship. Yeah length of relationship, and all I want is the mean. Boop. So the mean is 2184. So we're going to create a new variable. We're going to compute a new variable, and we're going to call it uh, length centered. So hold on a second. Length of relation. I keep getting those backwards. That's your, right, this is your predictor, your IV. So length of relationship over there minus the mean, which was 2184. So subtract 21.84 and then hit OK way down here in the button that you can't see. And we should have a new variable. Let's take a quick look. And there it is right there. So this number is 20 minus the mean. This is 34 minus the mean, 20 minus the mean. So this length center, this, this difference here is pure variance. Oh, yeah. And that's what we're going to be using to see if it is going to act as a moderator or not. Okay, part two. We should dummy code the categorical variable. But the good news is because our categorical variable is only two, it only has two, it's binary or dichotomous, then if you look at it, we, I measured, I, I marked the no's with a zero already. So this is already dummy coded for the yeses, for the people that are secure, and no's for the insecure. But remember, whenever you dummy code, you're supposed to have one less than the number of levels. So in other words, if you used ethnicity or something for a categorical variable, and you had like seven different ethnicities, then you would create seven minus one or six new dummy codes. Okay, remember, that's how that works. You always need a reference code for dummy coding, so it's already done like that. So now we're going to create a new variable that is going to be the product, transform compute variable. It's going to be the product of the centered length and the secure attachment. So hold on, please. Right, and I named it accordingly, right? So let's stick that in there. So length centered, and we're going to multiply that by secure attachment. And there we go. And let's click OK. Let's get that up there so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to click OK. And that's going to give us another new variable. It's basically going to be the product of secure attachment and length centered. So you'll notice all these zeros over here. So it's zero times anything is zero. So basically, in a nutshell, the only data this thing is going to use is for those people that are secure. Isn't that clever? Okay. So let's get on with it. Regression time. We're going to go to analyze regression linear and our DV was satisfaction and our independent I'm going to go ahead and use the centered length I could stick the regular length in there and I get the exact same correlation but I just want to use the centered one just for you know show you what's going on click that in there I'm going to click next and 
So for the next one, I'm going to put in the created one. That is the centered variable times is secure. It's going to be next. I don't have to hit next, but I want to do statistics. I just want to do a couple of things. These other things, they are important, but, but not for this video. I'm just going to show you if it's a mediator or not. So the rest of this stuff. All right, here we go. And here's our output. And we got more than one entered that tells us what, that we did this hierarchically. So the first model with everybody, the centered, it was significant. Let's get this over so you could see it. Right? The, again, the first model with everybody in there, it was significant, 0 .06, uh, 0 0.006. And in the second model, strictly with the secure type, it too was significant. Okay? So what that tells me is that you do have a moderator here. This is a moderator, but we're going to double check down here. We're going to go down to the ANOVA box. If the first ANOVA is significant, the second one will probably be significant as well because it has the first data in it, but that's not always the case, okay? But So I, I don't really go by the ANOVA box, but I do go to by the coefficients box. Hold on. There's the coefficients box. Here's the first model without the... Um, the product but product variable in there and it is significant okay the product variable that we made login centered times the dummy coded secure it is significant so that tells me that um, that dichotomous variable is acting as a moderator so in other words it's significant the relationship between the length of a marriage and marriage satisfaction is significant for the people that are secure, but not for those that are not secure. So I'm going to give you a, a, another way to double check that real quick. Please hold. So remember, a dichotomous categorical variable is a moderator if the relationship is significant for one group, but not for the other group. I'll say that again. A categorical dichotomous variable is a moderator if the relationship is significant for one group but not the other group. So I'm going to just do a real cheat sheet. I'm going to split a file and I'm going to compare the groups. I'm just going to split the secure attachment, right? So I'm going to have a correlation for those that are secure versus a correlation for those that weren't secure. So if they're both significant, not a moderator. If neither is significant, not a moderator. But if one is and one is not, it's a moderator. Got it. So after splitting the file, I just simply go to analyze, correlate. Actually, we're doing regressions. I'll go to regression. And let me reset this bad boy, but satisfaction and length of relationship. So I'm going to get again, I'm going to get one for secured and one for not secured. And if they're alternate significances, then it is as a, then it is a moderator. And here it is right here. For the insecure people, it is not significant. See that? 546, 0.546. That is not significant. Secure people, it is significant. So that's that's the third, that's the second or third way we've shown that it is a moderator. One more quickie which will probably become the way everybody's going to do it from now on. Um, first of all, let me unsplit that file. Very important. Always unsplit the file. You can end up like me. So I'm going to show you the super fast way to check. We're going to use the Haze app. Um, and it's amazing. I have the, what version do I have? I have the 3.3. I'm going to put that out there. So we're going to use the Haze app to see if this thing is a mo moderator or not. So the, vari the Y variable is your DV, it's satisfaction. And length of relationship is your X variable. And your moderator down here is W. That's what you're going to put that in. And so model one is a moderator, right? Model four is a mediator. Model one is a moderator. Just leave it as model one. And there's a ton of other stuff that you can check in here, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to click OK, and this takes a minute, and then the output comes out in this R fashion. 
but it's I'm getting better and better at reading this. So here's the model, right? Your DV was marital satisfaction. Your predictor variable is length of marriage, and your W, which is your suspected moderator, is secure attachment or not. So let's tell you how to read this thing. So it says the original model is significant. You got a huge R squared, 0.3177. It is significant. And then you go down here to this model, and it will tell you right off the bat that um, the length is not significant. The secure attachment is not significant. But the interaction between those two, that's what that means, the interaction is significant. So in other words, if there's interaction, you have a moderator. Okay. Now let's go down and I think it does something really cool. This is what I really like. So it splits them for you just like we did with the split file. And so here's the, here's the insecure people and it says they're not significant. And here's the secure people and it says they are significant. So I just showed you four different ways to prove if something is a moderator, a dichotomous categorical moderator between two continuous variables. I certainly hope this helps. MGZ out.